Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Kath Kidston Beauty Advent Calendar for 2022. So let's get cracking. Hiya, hope you're all okay. I'm having a lovely day. My lovely daughter has been to visit. We drunk three pots of tea apiece and uh, and just uh, put the world to rights, you know. Like you do when you get together with people you absolutely love. So anyway, she's just gone. Um, and uh, this arrived while she was here. So I thought I'd get on here and film it before the light goes. Okay. And then I've got some content for the week. Because if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I've been actually quite ill. Um, so I've not been going out because I didn't want to give anybody else the illness that I've had. It wasn't the cove, it was <laughs> another illness. Um, but yeah, highly contagious, so I didn't want to give other people it. So I'd ordered a few beauty advent calendars because then I've got things to open and do on my channel. And also, in all honesty, it's quite a lot of fun, you know, unboxing these things. There's been some hits and some misses along the way. Um, I think this is my fourth one I've done. Okay, sorry if it's just jumped. I didn't know what were happening to my camera then, but it was full. Okay, so I've just spent some time deleting things off it. So, yeah, right. We've had some hits and some misses along the way. And this is my fourth beauty advent calendar. They're a load of fun. Okay, they are a load of fun. But some of them are a bit pants when you actually get into them. So, um, mentioning no names, William Morris. Okay, right. So, this is a Kath Kidston one. It's very pretty. It really looks nice. It's so, sort of a sturdy box. Got a little ribbon on the side. I did untie this and have a brief look inside. It's also got all the stuff on the back, which I'm not like a big fan of them putting all the sort of the stuff that's in it on the back because... I think the whole point of these is that you don't know what you're getting, you know. But anyway, it's really pretty. I don't even know whether Kath Kidston's still a thing, is it? It might be sold somewhere else. But anyway, let's open this and have a look. All right, it's all green. Do you know, back in the day, I painted my house like Kath Kidston shops. We actually went in when they opened in Leeds and asked them uh, what colours they'd painted the place. And they actually had the list of colours that they painted the inside of the shop. So I got this list of colours, bought the colours and um, painted bits of my house to match the Kath Kidston wallpaper that I had and stuff like that. I'm a lot more minimalist since then, but at the time I was going for the maximalist kind of um, home decor. So um, yeah, so I've got a bit of a connection. I feel like I'm connected to Kath Kidston in some ways. But anyway, we'll see what the beauty uh, advent calendar has in store for us. Um, yeah, I hope it's nice. That's all I can say. I really hope it's nice. A lot of these products, if I don't end up using them, like I've got like 30 hand creams so far. I've saved a couple that I really like the fragrance of. Now I know how you're using um, an hand cream, put it on the back of your hands and not all over your, in the inside of your hands. But anyway, right, or your palms. Um, I've got a load of hand cream, so all the ones that I'm not going to use, I'm taking it to work and giving away to lasses at work, you know. It's just a nice thing to be able to take in products and give them away to people, especially hard-working people, that's what I think, anyway. So let me put my gigs on and let's have a look at this beauty advent calendar. I can see number one already. Okay, let's try and get into it and see what you've got in store for us, Kath. Is that a big door? Oh, it's a big door of a tube. Okay, let's see if we can get it out. Eek. Oh my goodness. Come on, Kim, you can do it. I'm going to have this dismantled by the time we're finished, you know. Got a pair of scissors. Let's get it out that way. Oh, goodness me. Right, this is the first one. Quite pretty packaging, you know. What is it though? Body lotion, okay. That's one more thing than we had in um, the William Morris one. That was shocking. Right, okay, let's try it. Does it tell you the fragrance of it or out? It says vegan friendly, 50% recycled plastic, so good. Let's try this body lotion. 
put a bit on my hand. Oh, it is very much like a body lotion. Not a thick cream, you know. It goes quite a long way, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's very lightly fragrance. Don't really have much of a fragrance, you know, just very light. But um, yeah, I can always use a body lotion. I look shocking at the moment. I've realized all my hair's now stuck up everywhere and stuff. But I've had a lovely day, so I'm not gonna let it spoil it. Right, okay, let's rip off that door. Door number two, we're over here. See what's in this one. Another wee tube, looking suspiciously reminiscent of the William Morris size tubes. I tell you what, they're blinking well packaged in here though. Take some getting out. Right here, oh, what's this one? If it's another hand cream, I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. I've got so many hand creams. Body wash, okay. You're not gonna get much of a wash out of that, are you? Maybe a one time deal. Anyway, let's have a look, see what it's like. Yeah, it's like a gel. I don't know if you can see that over my liver spots. Dry right here. Oh, that smells really nice. That's quite fruity fragranced. Yeah, let's have a go. It's very, very foamy as well. Yeah, it's got a fruity fragrance to it. I like that one. I like that a lot. I'm going to use these little backs of the door to scrape it off because no doubt I'll have other products I'm wanting to try. Okay, so door number three. She said looking desperately. I found four, but not... Oh, three down here. Okay, let's see what we can get out of this one. Okay, it's a big tube. I didn't tell you. This thing cost me 20 quid and I bought it off Amazon. It came super quickly. <laughs> you can't get them out of the packaging. There we go. Right here, what's this one? It, it's really pretty packaging. Look at it. I mean, what's not to love about that? Uh, another body wash. This one says it's in citrus and sandalwood. Did it tell me what the other one was? The other one were red berry and cedar, the little one, and this slightly bigger one, which has got 30 mils. That one had 15 mils. This is um, citrus and sandalwood. Let's have a sniff. I like a body wash because you go through them, don't you? You know, it's not something that takes you ages to get through. So I'm always happy to get them. It's another very gel-like one. Yeah, that's a bit more like um, sort of pine. It has a vague pine undertone. Is that the sandalwood? I don't know. But anyway, it's very nice. I like it. And I like that you've got two body washes, albeit one's just a little wee one, 15 mils. Okay, door number four, I've seen you already. Right, I'm working it out as I'm going how to get these out. Okay, so it looks like another 30 mil tube. Also very pretty packaging, like it. Uh, <laughs> no, it's hand cream, guys. I've got another hand cream. Oh my goodness, what's the fragrance? Um... It says, power to the peaceful, rise up hand cream. I'm going to have to smell it, ah, ah, see what it's like. Please don't let there be too many hand creams in this. There is a limit to how much hand cream any one woman needs, you know. Then I may have reached my limit. Let's be honest. Let's try this one. It's very thick. It's there. Oh, it's very nice. It's very sort of creamy, but also has a bit of sort of freshness to it so not bad at all you know at least that's the size of the tube that we got in day 24 of the william morris one check that one out if you if you're after an hand cream advent calendar that's the one for you not this one oh let's hope not anyway right door number five it's quite hard to see the parameters of each door done it goodness me this one very cute cute looking Red berry and cedar, bath fizzy. Okay, I won't use that. I'll give that to somebody else. I'm not a big fan of taking baths. They just take too long. Too much water has to run in, you know. I'm in and out in, a, in the shower in a matter of minutes, whereas in the blooming bath, it takes me longer to run a bath than it takes me to get the whole shower, you know. So um, I'll pass that on to somebody else that's interested in getting baths and don't mind a bath fizzy. 
my daughter's messaging me to say so she got home all right i know she is right yo what's next uh what was that door number five right number six is straight above it it is in fact another tube there we go tubes are easier to get out than all else this one is another body wash in london people london tea body wash okay i'm none of those things i'm neither a london person nor am i a london tea so but we'll give it a go anyway i'm i'm much in, i'm much preferring not much in i'm much preferring getting more body washes than 300 hand creams let's put it there i've got stuff all over the back of my hand now okay don't smell that exciting yeah it's not that exciting it's just like any other body wash it's not an exciting fragrance or anything don't smell like you know oh yeah it's definitely that fragrance it just smells like soap so um that's not my favorite one i've had so far but we'll keep going right okay let's rip that door off number seven okay it's a wee one it's getting easier to get them out as time goes on this one this is cuticle cream okay so we've had an hand cream now we've got a cuticle cream citrus and sandalwood what's the hand cream fragrance power to the peaceful okay we'll try this quite see myself using a cuticle cream at this point although i'm not really sure what the difference is between an ant cream and a cuticle cream because surely when you put ant cream on you rub it into your cuticles you know rather than having that extra step of another tube but i'll, I'll prepare to give it a go let's stick it on one of my fingers and see what it's like okay put it on a few fingers since i've squeezed out way too much yeah that's quite a nice fragrance that's a bit fruity a bit fresh and smell the citrus in it so nice you know it's a wee tube but you only need a bit don't you for your cuticles so that's that one let's look for door number eight I keep saying this this is why nobody will ever give me one of these you know to for free because i'm I'm brutally honest. I really am right. First, the drawback of this thing is you need tools to get into it. Okay, this is an even bigger one. How many mils is this? You're getting a 50 mil something. Okay, please don't. <laughs> oh, I just got to say, please don't let it be hand cream and it's blinking hand cream. Right, no, I ain't using it. It's red berry and cedar. I'm not using it. Okay. It might smell gorgeous, but I have two hands and currently have about 30 hand creams on the go. Then I've only just recently learned how to use them, that you don't slap them on palms here and you slap them on backs. And there's no way I'm going to use that. That's getting gifted to one of the lasses at work. Right, my daughter was telling me, because she's a nurse, right? If you, don't, if you have extra hand creams that you don't want, take them into your local doctor's surgery or somewhere like that because they're always washing their hands at the doctor's surgery or in hospitals and things and so nurses and i imagine doctors go through loads of hand cream because of the amount of hand washing they do um so if nobody at work wants these i will do that i'll donate them to local gp practice see if they want them okie dokie what are we on now what was that one that was number eight so we're on number nine okay this another bath fizzer right we're out this one it is um scented soap it's by it's cassis and rose scented soap i like a soap i particularly like a little hand soap that you can stick on the side of your sink so you know your bathroom um so let's have a little whiff of this because i'll definitely use this this is something i will use i'm just cutting the packaging with my nail scissors okay oh that smells really nice that is really nice that's very scented very scented but lovely as an hand soap you know when you've got like a super scent scented ones i find the great on side of your sort of your wash hand basin in bathroom you know so great like that one prefer that to a bath fizzer but that's personal preference that's just because i don't get a bath you know like i say right what are we on now 
we're on number 10 where are you okay here there we go right this one i love all the tubes i do love the tubes this says eggnog lip balm wow that's my first lip balm that i've had this year okie dokie it's in one of these little plastic things let's give it a go although i have got lippy on mm, it feels suspiciously empty here we go it's very thick okay super thick although that might be because i'm mixing it with my lippy you know what i mean but it's super thick very rich don't really have a flavor of much um, but I will definitely use that one. Quite like a lip balm. I've said this so many times on my channel. I tend to lick my lips a lot. So I end up with a chat bit under here when it gets onto the bad weather. So look out for that in upcoming videos, you know. Me with chapped lips. But I'll definitely give that one a go. So great. Like that one. Like that it's a bit of something different as well. So I suspect we're on number 11 now, are we? Yep. Go this one oops sit there this one okay body wash great happy with that if it had been another hand cream i'd have been majorly disappointed so body wash fab let's give this one a go by the time i'm finished when i go to wash my hands there's going to be so much foam and lather it's not going to be real honestly Oh, they're all blended in together now. I really can't smell it. It smells very nice. Sort of slightly fruity. Um, what's it say, the fragrance is? Power to the peaceful. Balance body, body wash. Don't know what that means. But anyway, I like the little um, tube that it's in. Very pretty. So there's that one. Right, next. Come on, Kath. Mix it up. 12. Okay, I threw it on the floor. Retrieved it now. This one. Now, based on the packaging, I'm expecting another lip balm. It is. Strawberry lip balm. Get in. I like a strawberry flavour. Let's see if we can taste this one. It is definitely strawberry. I've got so much lip balm on now. My lips are sticking together. But anyway, that does smell a strawberry. You're not getting a massive amount in it, but you don't need that much, do you, really? 10 mils. Okay. I honestly have so much lip balm on. Hang on a minute. Let me dab some of this off. That's a bit better. It was genuinely like clogging up my mouth. It was so bad. Anyway, moving on to door number 13. I'm looking for some. Just get rid of some of this, these door things here. Let's rip a bit of this off. Okie dokie. Is it another lip balm? Let's have a look. This is peach lip balm. I'm guessing it tastes a peach. <laughs> I've got three now. So I'm not going to put another one on. My lips are completely coated in lip balm. I'm sure it's very nice. Based on the strawberry one, I much prefer that to the first one. So nice. There's a peach one. Very nice. That should protect my lips all the way through the winter from getting trapped. Um, yeah, fingers crossed anyway. Okie dokie. We're properly dismantling this as we're going out with him. Right, 14 down here. A big tube. Praying it's not an hand cream. Please don't let it be an hand cream. Let's have a look. I'll show you first. Right. It says... The Artist Kingdom Citrus and Sandalwood Hand Cream. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not again. Right. That's another one I'm donating to somebody else. Like I say, I've got a bucket load. Uh, I, genuine, I could squeeze them out. I would definitely have a cup full of hand cream going forward. Um, and maybe another one besides. So I'm not going to open that one. I'll give it to somebody else, you know. Surely to goodness, somebody needs hand cream. Right, okay. Are we on 15? I think we're on 15, aren't we? Here we go. Come on, Kath. Give us something a bit more interesting than an hand cream. This one, which I really love, that packaging. Little wolfie at the moon. Lovely. It is body lotion. Okay, I can get on board with that. 
red berry and cedar body lotion nice well i like that fragrance you know it's an okay fragrance very much like soap <laughs> the other one but we'll go with it anyway at least we've got a couple in that fragrance and that tube is very pretty so i'll keep that one for myself okie dokie number are we on 16 blinking nora i've thrown that many on the floor this one please don't let it be a blinking hand cream no more hand cream come on kath bluebells wild barley and meadows body wash great okie dokie let's give this one a go because it smells i mean it sounds like it should smell gorgeous okie doke where am i putting it put it up here bit there also in a gel formula you know but if it washes your body great i'm happy with it oh that's really nice i don't know whether it's actually bluebell but it's very pretty it's a really pretty fragrance i think that's my favorite fragrance so far uh, yeah i really like that not i'm not saying i want an hand cream in the same fragrance but i am actually appreciating that one that's very nice right kath come on something else something a bit different now uh 18 we're down here let's just rip the whole lot off there we go what is it <laughs> you couldn't write it if the only thing that would have made this worse right literally the only thing that would have made this worse is if every single one of these had been a scalp scrub that that is literally the only thing right it is another hand cream now in the fragrance power to the peaceful restore hand cream okay that's three i've got to pass on to somebody else that's the biggest one so far these ones are about 30 mils and we've had one 50 mil one but the majority are sort of 30 mil ones okay moving rapidly on am i on number did i open number 18 then and i should have opened number 17 i should have opened number 17 we're going back to number 17 i can't obviously can't count bath visor or soap what do we think got it out this one looks very pretty packaging it's bath salts yes it is okay i'll accept you um red berry and cedar well because i don't get baths i'll pass that on to a pal at work i think see whether somebody actually wants bath salts if they do i've got loads of them out of my william morris beauty advent calendar that i can pass on so yeah there's those right back to we're proper counting again since we went back to number 17 number 19 let's have a look is it another lip balm mint lip balm okay i like a mint flavor so i'm happy with that one yeah i've got enough lip balm to last me all winter now but anyway thanks to kath kidston i were hoping for a bit more variety it's certainly got more variety than the william morris one but still we're getting several repeats 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 but we'll go with it anyway um number 20 right we're over here let's just not even bother here we go what's this one gonna be is it gonna be another soap it is a scented soap in red berry and cedar nice like the little santa on it that's cute okay so i'm i'm set with sort of travel size soaps and uh, body washes as well but anyway i'm happy with that one i quite like a little soap much prefer a soap to bath salts or a bath fitter okay doc number 21 here we go let's try and rip it without opening the others another tube well i haven't had an hand cream for at least 30 seconds so let's see whether this is an hand cream okie doke it is in fact a hand cream is hand cream super cheap to produce is that what the issue is it's super super cheap to produce so you just get given loads of it because it's very cheap uh power to the peaceful hydrate oh sorry breathe hand cream okay there's another one how many of these hand creams have we got and what fragrances well that's the second one of those they're both exactly the same power to the peaceful what's the other ones that one's red berry and cedar this one citrus and sandalwood we've actually got three 
Power to the Peaceful and Creams already. Just in fractionally different packaging. Right, I'm expecting a pink one as well. We've got a blue, a green, a yellow. I'm sort of expecting there's going to be a pink one in here somewhere. If it's on door number 24, I'm going to be really, really upset. Okie dokie, what are we on? 22. Let's go for this one. See what this is. Just dropped it in my drawer. Okay, this one. Um, Cassie's and Rose Body Lotion. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I'm getting body lotions and not all land creams. At least we've got a bit of variety there. You know, there's certainly more variety than the William Morris one. Goodness me. But anyway, there's that. Okay, door number 23. I'm sort of thinking bath salts or soap. It's not shaking. It's either a bath fizzer or a hand soap. It's a scented soap in cassis and rose. Okie dokie. It's all right. I'm happy with that. I'm glad it's not another hand cream. Right, we're on to door number 24. This is Christmas Eve. Okay. So, fingers crossed on Christmas Eve we'll get something decent. Right, it's another tube. This one. And this is... <laughs> It's another hand cream. Because, I, obviously, when you've been doing this over 24 days, you've run out by the time you get to this point, haven't you? You know, you've only got about 200 mils of hand cream to work your way through. So, goodness knows you need another, don't you? On Christmas Eve, the thing that you really need more than anything else for those tired, hard-working hands is a, a six or whatever it is, hand cream. Right, I'm going to count up what we've got. Let's start with the hand creams. Okay, I've gathered them all together. So we have got four lip balms. These are all different flavours. All of these are different flavours. So you've got four different lip balms. Right, so you've got th four of these in different fragrances and then this teeny tiny one. You've got three body lotions, all in different packaging, but are the different fragrances. Yeah, they're all different as well. A cuticle cream, three bars of soap, a bath fizzer and uh, um, bath salts. And then let's look at the hand cream collection. Right, you've got six hand creams. One's a 50 ml, the rest are all 30 ml. Um, you've got three different ones. And then these three are identical products, um, but they've just got slightly different packaging. These are all um, power to the peaceful hand creams. That, that to me is crazy. The fact that you've got th uh, uh, six hand creams and three of them are all the same in one beauty advent calendar is a bit of a, it's a bit pants, to be honest. I think it's a bit pants. Okay, it's only 20 quid, but honestly, there surely has to be something else that they can put in. You know, even different fragrances of hand creams. They can't just be, you know, you just can't keep giving the same product day after day after day after day. It's not good enough, Kat Kidston. It's, I know, I get she sold the company. It's not her company anymore, but oh, I don't think it is. You know, I might have made that up, but you can't just keep giving us the same product day after day after day. It's not good enough, right? No amount of cutesy packaging makes up for the disappointment of getting the same product every single day. And certainly out of 24 doors, getting six hand creams, three of which are exactly the same. It's just pants, right? I'm on a roll now. I'm probably raging. Okay. Mind if this were actually, you were opening this day to day. By the time it got to Christmas, you'd be so over it. It just wouldn't be worth talking about, would it? You know? But anyway, I've had my rant and my rave now. And I've had a nice day apart from this um, sort of disaster. In fact, the past two Advent calendars I've had have been pretty pants. Um, I suppose you get what you pay for, but I don't know. You know, just mix it up a bit. Come on, company. Stop giving us, like, so much hand cream. We've got two hands. You know, some foot cream. Foot cream. It doesn't take a lot of imagination, does it? Tell us one of them's foot cream. At least that way, it'll be something a bit different. 
Now, anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. Now, I've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye! Right, I'm off to put some anchor feet on.